I'm gonna do a whole video and it's with the app Shopee and that's how I gotten all my stuff. It's kind of like shopping in Taobao, it's just a lot more easier and there's no like agent fee or shipping cost that you need to think about. So Shopee has this new China marketplace, it is basically Taobao in Shopee and it's all the best Taobao sellers and it is like a Taobao but you don't have to go through all the hassle of translating or looking for sellers that ship overseas or how much is the shipping cost or what if it's faulty and how do you get it to return and everything like that. It's very fast and hassle free. You don't have to worry about how do you communicate with the seller. They all will communicate with you through this app. You don't have to worry about the language or the UI. So this China marketplace in Shopee is like a big host to all the Taobao sellers that you love selling clothes or bags or shoes or accessories. Everything that you can think of they have it. The good thing about shopping in Shopee is that the items are generally cheaper than getting it from Taobao itself. Shipping to Singapore is free on Shopee so you don't have to worry about shipping and there's no agent fee so you don't have to wait for those free agent fees just to stock out and everything that you want to get. With that, you kind of cut down a lot a lot of costs. You don't need the shipping, you don't need the agent fee and the items are cheaper on Shopee than on Taobao. What more? Why are you not even going? I would say the shipping time is about 1 to 2 weeks which is quite okay because if you are getting stuff from Taobao anyway, it will take that long. So for all the first time Shopee users, I have a promo code for you and it's right here, C and Julin and this code will get you $7 off your first purchase. So I'm gonna bring you through how I shop in Shopee. I'm gonna put the thing right here so I'm gonna move a little bit. <laughs> okay. So when I open an app, I would go into the China marketplace and I will go through like the woman section and the best seller usually under $10 and this is the few sections that I love the most. I would kind of scroll through them like this one is like a black marble phone design. From here you can see that their rating is 4.8 so you kind of know that they are not that like shady and they have an 86% chat response which means if you were to chat with them, they would reply you and uh, get some earrings, get a black one, looks cute. They have home and living as well. They have so many things to choose from and I love this basket, honestly, I really do love it. And they also have gadgets, electronics, fashion, women's fashion, baby stuff. <laughs> so here you can see that I have all the stuff in my cart. Okay, I'm gonna just enter my promo code. And there, we have $7 off my order. So thanks for shopping with me. With that, I have the entire load that came and so I have a whole pile of clothes here. I'm gonna try on these clothes as well. I quite like try-on hauls. I like to watch try-on hauls because it's quite interesting. So this is a dress that I've gotten and I quite like the print. It's like little tangerines on the dress. I love it and it's so frilly, so summery, so elegant I would say because it has those little ruffles in the chest area. It's so cute. I don't know whether I can pull off this kind of dress. I think I'll look super girly in this dress and I think I need that for a change. I'm not a girly enough girl. Next, I have a normal tank top. This is teal and I love this color. This is my favorite color. It's so vibrant and so pretty. It's meant to be a frilly top so you get the flattery effect because it has like many many layers. It will give you the pong pong effect and it's also a cross back. So it kind of gives the extra detail that you need in this very simple tank top. Tank tops are really affordable on Taobao and in Shopee, you get it even cheaper. Why not? Next up, I got a striped blouse and this is in black and white and it has all the little buttons and it's a very very simple shirt blouse. I love this kind of design because it makes it very slouchy, very laid back kind of feel. I mean if you want, you can always button a sleeve. You can always wear it as outerwear as well, like those lazy Sunday kind of feel and then you just throw this on. Uh, it can feel like a boyfriend blouse, you buy it a little bit oversized for yourself. Most of the blouse, you have to actually worry whether the item is sheer. This is actually really not sure. You cannot see through it. I can't believe I'm wearing it right now. But look at that, it's so laid back. Next up, I've got a short and this has very, very pretty prints, very floral, leafy prints on it and it's also quite frilly at the bottom. So the reason why I chose this kind of shorts is because I always look for printed shorts. It looks so good if you can just pair it up with something simple on top because this kind of shorts with this kind of print it will look amazing with a very simple top. It's a very easy way to dress up a whole outfit because you, all you need to do is just throw on some pants. The thing that really sold me is the frills below because it looks so girly, you know? I love that kind. I don't know why my whole haul today is so girly. Next, I also picked up this baby blue dress and it is so sweet. It's like a, you know, the S-shaped curvy kind of dress. When you wear it, it looks like it's hugging your waist. And it's so girly because it also has this like fluttery top 
at the side it has a little off shoulder but of course it won't drop off because it has the little straps but it still adds that little flare to the dress because it's a little bit off shoulder it's so so girly i can't believe it it's really a phase that i'm going through right so the next item that i got is a very normal white blouse and it is like those kind of white blouse that you need for formal events and stuff so i got it but what makes it different is that it came with this black color neck tie How do, what do you call it bow tie but you just basically tie it around your neck and tie a knot in front of your blouse it just looks very sweet it looks like you came out from an anime or like a japanese school or something like that it's so cute and this kind of blouse is so versatile you can use it for any other kind of occasions that you need just don't wear the tie lah you know what i mean next is a crop top and this top is super adults like i'm not kidding with you this is the cute but psycho top and it's really crop top because it ends like right here i love the print i mean it's just so simple it's cute but psycho but when I see this, I was like thinking, okay, you know, what does this remind me of? This sums up me because I'm cute but psycho. I'm just kidding. No, this actually reminds me of the Psycho Princess. And if you know who the Psycho Princess is, give it a thumbs up and say me on the comments down below. So the sleeves are a little folded up and it's sewed on so it will not like unfold. It's just little details like that that will make you love this top so, so much. Ta -da! Next is a very, very plain, simple top. But it has an alien logo, so I I got it. I mean, printed tops is not something that people really like, you know. The alien, it's just the alien, that's why I bought it. If they didn't have the alien, if they have like, I don't know, Power Rangers in the front, I probably won't buy it. But it's the alien, and it's so simple. You know what I mean? Like, last time when you have printed tops, you are thinking of Barbie all over, and then your top is pink, and you have little glitter here and there. But now it's so simple, and it's so minimalistic. I love this kind of tops why didn't they have this like when we are younger next i have another blouse and this is a very very sweet blouse with a rose embroidery it's on the pocket itself the sleeves are also folded up and sewed on so it won't like come off the bottom it comes with this two extra long string which means you have to tie your blouse in the front and it will make it super cute it will make it like like you're a cowgirl like when you tie it it's an extra detail so it's like a bonus so next i have a sleeping wear and this is very lacy very satin so very girly please don't judge me it is a navy blue dress that you will wear probably to sleep most likely to sleep i don't know where else would you wear this kind of dress to it looks very but this is the kind of dress that i would love to sleep in because I have bunnies and when you have bunnies, they shed fur and when they shed fur, it sticks onto everything but this is the one material that the fur wouldn't cling on I just don't like to sleep with fur all over me, it's very gaoui It has adjustable straps as well which is a bonus because some actually don't come with adjustable straps and then you have it so low and you're like why did I waste money on this? I mean, it's easy to alter it, but why, you know, when you can actually have adjustable straps that will make your life so much more easier. The other thing that I always will think you know, about is the length of the dress itself. Oh yeah, at the bottom, it has this little extra slits as well. So cute, right? So this kind of length is just nice. You don't have to worry about zaogeng or anything. So this is another one that I've gotten and this is also satin, but it does not have the lacy, frilly kind of design. This kind of outfit, I know that I said that it's meant to go to sleep, but when it doesn't have the lace, right, you can actually wear it out. It's like a very simple black dress. Let me go and find an Instagram of that person because she always wear this kind of dress. Rumi, Rumi Nili. I have confidence in you that you can find a way to dress it up. So I've also picked up this floral kimono and it's super pretty. It's like a little Japanese kimono. So it has this very nice bell sleeve cutting but it's not a very long sleeve so you can kind of do your stuff. The only thing that I don't like about kimono is when it's too long and the sleeves are too long and I start to wonder how the ancients do it because like I can't I can't function. When I wash my hand, everything gets wet. When I try to tie my hair, everything gets stuck. So, uh, I really like that this is a very short sleeve and it's suitable for Singapore's weather. It's not a very thick material, it's actually very thin and sheer. So you can actually kind of wear it on a hot day just to cover up and feel a little bit more secure with your outfit. And it has a very nice print. The whole thing is so floral and pretty. It has a very rustic kind of feel and the colours are amazing. So next, I got accessories and they are earrings and these are tassels pom-poms and triangles and this kind of minimalistic design is like the new trend i don't really wear much dangly earrings but i'm gonna give it a try does it look nice i don't know it's just 
It just feels very like girly. I don't really have this kind of earrings because I don't really wear dangly. I like that it's very yao yan, you know, when you have a ball hanging off your ear, people will definitely look at it, you know what I mean? The material of this is really quite good. It's quite intricate and it looks expensive. It looks like you actually spend your money well. Okay, I'm gonna try the others. How do people do this though? Like, do they look at the mirror when they are wearing earrings? Or do they just feel their way? Okay, I think this is harder to see because of like my hair and the color of it. It's very long, it's very minimalistic. Okay, you can kind of feel a little bit of weight for this one because it's a bit heavier. It's not that bad though. I really like this kind of earrings because it dangles and it's very clean cut kind of feel. It's like an in-between formal and informal. You can wear it on an informal outfit, you can wear it on a formal outfit. This will work perfectly for both. Next up is this little tassel with a pearl in the center. I'm not sure whether you can see the little black tassel dangling but this is the cutest kind of earring. I feel like I'm missing out because I'm not wearing pretty earrings, you know what I mean? This is amazing because when you put your hair to the side, you can see the black color tassel. When I cover it, right, although you can't see the black tassel, you can actually see the pearl and the gold detail. Okay, this is this is super pretty. I love it because it's like a two-in-one. And the fact that it's dangling, it makes it super dainty. This is also very formal slash informal. Hashtag gonna start wearing earrings soon. Like why have an ear hole when you don't wear earrings, right? Next up, I have shoes and these are little, how do we call it, slip-ons? If you are as lazy as me and you want to look put together, just get these kind of shoes. You just wear it and then you go. And it has those little details at the side. These are like silver stud. Gives it a little bit more edge. So the whole thing is like a black leather and then you have that little spiky stud. I actually wanted to get a white one but I feel like if you get a white one, it looks very school shoe kind. This is something that I would definitely Wear. Next, I have another shoe and these are heels and these are really, really pretty heels. It's like I always want new heels but I always can't really wear heels. What makes it a good heel for me is whether or not it's gonna fit perfectly. I tried this already and it fits quite well. It's like the size 36 means size 36, you know what I mean? It's not like size 36 but you must plus minus a bit. I don't like this kind of store that they say like, oh buy one size down. No! If I'm size 36, I wanna buy a size 36 and I wanna fit into your size 36. This has a little extra detail at the back. It's a keychain or something. It just dangles at the back. And the fact that it's red underneath, okay, I don't know whether you guys have the same feeling as I have but every time I see a heel that has red colour underneath, like when she walks and it goes like that, it's so sexy. Yay, the heels! The last item that I've gotten from this haul is a humidifier and it's like when you go into the home and electronic section, you will see all this kind of stuff. I need a humidifier because I'm recently having sore throat. It feels like the room is just way too dry. So I got a humidifier and this is like the perfect height for me because I cannot have it too tall. I don't have the space, I don't have the height and if it's very very short, I want it a lot of water. This is a, I think a 500ml which is a good enough amount for you to last throughout the night or throughout the day and then you refill it once and it also has many different options you can on it for 60 minutes 130 minutes 180 minutes or you can have the light okay, I cannot reach that far the plug thing cannot reach that far so I cannot on it for you for me I always put um, those oil that has scents inside so that the mist comes out is actually fragrance I have the one in green tea green tea is nice and it's very minimalistic very Muji style like because my whole room is white anyway if you realize so I needed a white color humidifier because I cannot handle those funny funny colors yeah so that's it for my video thank you for watching all the way to the end i love you guys so so much so you know the drill give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below on which outfit you think i look the best in because i need a mirror that can talk to me and they can answer me i need a talking mirror but i don't have a talking mirror so i'm gonna rely on you and finally subscribe if you have not yet already because i upload videos quite frequently on this channel so i want you to be the first to know when i do as usual dream big and stay positive i'll see you next time bye bye Till I get up